Police have recovered thousands of dollars worth of goods believed to be stolen from the Carrasco warehouse located in Massad Grosley, the industrial estate area. The goods are believed to have been stolen from the night of January 2nd before, the, before fire was set to the warehouse. The police reportedly found the items in a house at Union on Tuesday night. The warehouse was stocked with hardware, pl plumbing and electrical supplies, among other items. However, on Tuesday, 6 January at around 8 p.m., four days after the warehouse fire, a squad of police officers from the north of the island, acting on information, went to a house in Union. Sources say the house was not occupied when the police arrived. Three police pickup vehicles transported the items, electrical and plumbing supplies, to the Groselet police station, which is spared in the investigations. Investigators theorized that the perpetrators broke into the warehouse, stole the items, then set the warehouse on fire to conceal the crime. Victoria Hospital is grappling with an acute shortage of doctors and almost every aspect of the institution's medical operations is being affected. A sign in the Accident and Emergency Department of the hospital informs patients that they will be, there will be rather an extremely long waiting time before they could get medical attention since there is a gross shortage of doctors in the emergency room. And people seeking medical attention at Victoria Hospital have also been advised to use the nearest health centre until further notice. The Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Malene Fedrick, says the packages being offered to the doctors are not attractive enough and as a result, they gravitate towards private practice. There are probably shortages in terms of the number of doctors available to work in certain places. Um, right now, we actually have quite a few doctors who would rather work in the private sector than come and work in an intense emergency um, room, for example. So saying shortage is sort of relative. It also depends on the number of posts that we have available and funded. But um, certainly, we have realized that to increase the quality of service, um, we would need more posts um, to be funded. And requests have been made through the normal budgetary process for this year to actually increase the number of posts in the accident and emergency um, room at Victoria Hospital, as well as certain key um, places in the community, being um, Grocery Polyclinic, Denry Hospital, Sufra Hospital, and the like. The CMO acknowledges, acknowledges that the situation has implications for the entire health system and puts pressure on nurses. She, however, stressed her hope that budgetary provisions would be made in this financial year to address the situation. And we'll be hearing more from the CMO a little later in the broadcast. The Bodley Correctional Facility is vigorously pursuing its rehabilitation program in the new year. On Monday, 12th January, the facility in association with CARE and RISE Inc. will launch a youth training program that will target the rehabilitation of a section of its largely youthful inmate population. This program is patterned after the Caribbean Youth Empowerment Program through funding from the United States Agency for International Development. Officials say inmates who previously participated in that program benefited greatly and as a result have been able to lead successful lives once outside of prison. The program will be officially launched at the Lakai Mabuya Valley Care Facility in Denry from 4 p.m. Stay with the CTV News when we come back. Questions being raised about the island's capability of dealing with cruise ship emergencies. 